Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen. Today we are diving into challenging problem, maximum uh, running time of N computers, and we are going to solve it in C++. So this problem provides a great opportunity to showcase the power of binary search in action. Uh, so let's dive. Imagine you have N computers and a set of batteries where each battery can run a computer for a certain number of minutes. And the goal is to run all N computers simultaneously for as long as possible. So the twist is that you can swap batteries between computers uh, any number of times and it takes no time. However, the batteries cannot be uh, recharged. So uh, let's yeah, show what the task is about. So for example, we have some uh, N, uh, let's it be two and batteries, uh, let's be battery, for example, array of three, three and three. So, uh, we can use those two batteries and after two minutes we can have battery one and one and this three capacity. So we were running computer for two minutes and then uh, if we pick uh, same batteries we will deplete two batteries and we will be not able to run uh, yeah, computer uh, longer. So total time will be free but we can do better so it will be wrong and if we run the same batteries our array will be zero zero and free and then we because we have two computers we need to pick two batteries so if we pick this we can power only one computer so instead we will pick those two batteries and after one mi minute uh, we will have a battery level of this uh, one zero and two and then uh, we can also run our two computers for one minute longer and we will pick this battery and this battery and after one minute we will have zero zero one and we need to output some of these numbers and it will be uh, four so uh, we will use a binary search and in binary search we can observe that we can uh, sort this array with batteries and then uh, pick particular batteries and uh, the upper bound of possible uh, power consumption is uh, sum of let's call it b divided by without remaining by n so uh, yeah uh, this will be our uh, maximum upper and then uh, what we have we will have a total power consumption and total power consumption uh, will be just n so uh, how many uh, computers we have and uh, target and our target number will be somewhere here and we will use a binary search so like middle point so first it will be target here and if uh, it's possible to have uh, more power then we will uh, place target here and narrow uh, search space here then uh, narrow search space here and finally we will uh, have uh, our uh, target number and because we have a target number uh, we will have also the uh, total. So uh, our target number is what we need to output because it will be max run time. So for example, in this case, our target was four. Uh, so let's look uh, at some uh, other examples. So for example, uh, if we have uh, the array of batteries, let's say uh, five, four, three. And uh, our current target is, let's say, four. So uh, we can uh, take power, for example, three from this battery because we cannot uh, take more, uh, four from this. And here we will take four because we are trying to run our computers for four minutes. So uh, we cannot run uh, any battery longer than uh, our current uh, target and then we need to compare uh, our equation so we will have a particular um, total time uh, that will be uh, target times uh, n with uh, the uh, sum of uh, possible uh, powers so here will be some sum of uh, f of batteries and the function is that we can pick the minimum between uh, battery or our target because uh, we cannot pick for example like 
uh, here is four. So we pick just a target because we cannot pick uh, the, the whole battery. And also here we can pick just the battery because we cannot pick four uh, because it's uh, not available. So now uh, if we understand the task, let's uh, implement it. So standard sort batteries uh, begin, batteries end, and long, long, left, one, right, uh, standard, accumulate batteries, begin, batteries end, divided by n, and while left less than right, so classic binary search, long, long target will be right minus right minus left divided by two, and long, long total will be accumulate batteries begin batteries and target long int b and return a minimum long long b target so it's our function and if total is greater than target times n uh, left will be target else right will be target minus one and finally we return left so this is our implementation uh, let's run it for uh, given test cases uh, so as previously mentioned we have uh, for example two computers and uh, batteries with power of three 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 and output is uh, four so uh, now let's uh, dive uh, into a code so what we did so first we sort the batteries vector in ascending order and then we initialize left boundary as one and the right boundary as the total power of all batteries divided by n so the use of uh, accumulate here is uh, lets us accumulate the sum of all elements in the battery vector and we then start uh, the binary search as long uh, as left is less than right uh, we will set a target running time and calculate the total power we can use to achieve this target. And we set the target as the midpoint between right and left, and we then calculate the total power we can uh, use to achieve this target. So uh, for each battery, if its uh, power is more than the target, we can only use power equal to the target uh, from it. If a battery power is less than the target, we can use all of its uh, power. And uh, we then check if the total power is enough to run all n computers for uh, target time. If it is, we update left to target. And if it's not, we update right to the target uh, minus one. And after the binary search ends, we return left, which will be the maximum number of uh, minutes. We can run all the n computers uh, simultaneously. And that's our solution in C++. So this problem uh, really shows uh, how powerful binary search uh, can be in certain uh, scenarios. So now let's run uh, our implementation for unseen test cases as well to verify its work. So yeah, it's work. And as you can see, our implementation beat 99% uh, with respect to uh, runtime, 99.6 and 71 with respect to a memory. So it's quite efficient. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more coding challenges. And as always, happy coding, keep practicing, and see you next time.